Dear viewers, Welcome to the introduction of our new series, covering our vision on end-to-end -end development of autonomous driving functionality. What do we mean by end-to-end? -end? Within this series, we will cover different aspects from design of the self-driving feature to verification and validation on the vehicle. We will especially address challenges along the journey to the software-defined vehicle. The audience we are addressing with this series are technical people, but also managers working in the area of autonomous driving or in more general people who are part of the transformation of the automotive industry towards the software-defined vehicle. Since most topics we show will also be applicable to other vehicle domains or any software developed for the software-defined vehicle. Let's start with the why question, so why are we doing this demo at all? Since we as Luxoft offer services to our customers helping them achieve their goals, most of the topics we work on in our projects is intellectual property of our client and we cannot show the cool things we contributed to public. Therefore, the main goal of this demo is to have a tangible demo to be able to present our capabilities and our vision on how to address and solve the challenges within the software-defined vehicle transformation. We will use an autonomous driving use case for the demo. But as mentioned most of the things will be applicable for all vehicle domains, only a few topics will be specific to self-driving vehicles. In addition, it was important to us to address the holistic end-to-end -end view, covering the whole life cycle from the requirements to the software on the series vehicles, considering the change from the traditional approach of developing in-vehicle software to reusable, maintainable and updatable software functionality for software-defined vehicle. Unfortunately, we also do not have a silver bullet to easily solve all the challenges. However, within the individual deep dives in our series we will address from our point of view important challenges to solve within the transformation, and we will present possible solutions. As always, many ways lead to Rome and the best way for you might not be the one we will present, but we still think it will be fruitful input for deciding on your way. Let me talk about what I will cover now in this introduction. Since the topic itself is quite complex and it is very difficult to get a mutual understanding on the exact challenge and solution for each of the deep dives, we use the method of an underground map to align on the scope on a high level. In all deep dives we will use this map to give you an insight on the content of the deep dive in the beginning. We hope it will help you judge if the topic is of interest for you and avoid wasting your time. To achieve this, I will present now within the next five minutes the underground map and explain on a high level the areas of the map. Let's directly jump into the map. Don't get overwhelmed by the complete map I will now introduce the high level areas. For those of you who are familiar with automotive spice processes and the V model you can identify that the map somehow reflects the V model covering the development processes on the left side of the V and the verification and validation processes on the right side of the V. Within the left side of the V we will cover the design and implementation of the function. We divide the software implementation into the three technologies typically used to implement embedded software for vehicles. C++, model-based design code generation and training of AI models. These underground lanes are extended to the bottom to give some examples for self-driving car modules typically developed with these technologies. Even though we support our customers developing level 2 plus and level 3 autonomous driving features by providing services to create the intellectual property of our clients, in the demo we will focus on the overall end-to-end -end process rather than on showing the most sophisticated autonomous driving feature. On the right side of the V, we will cover software and system testing aspects with the main intent to do as much testing as possible in software. Often the target hardware is not defined at the beginning of a project and thinking of reuse for future vehicle series, the software needs to be designed as independent as possible from the hardware. On the left side of the map, you can find the open loop and the closed loop processes used to verify and validate autonomous driving features. The open loop process is based on data recorded with a real vehicle during test drives, which afterwards is processed within software in the loop tests and often is referred to as re-simulation. The closed loop process is based on a 3D simulation using sensor models to calculate the sensor outputs. 
The software can now send back signals to the actuation of the virtual eco vehicle. Compared to the open loop process a change in the software, which leads to a change of the vehicle trajectory, will lead to new sensor outputs according to the new trajectory. Descriptive scenarios related to the driver assistance or automated driving features are basis for open and closed loop tests of self-driving cars. To prove proper functionality of the self-driving car features after changes, test cases referenced to these scenarios need to be executed on a regular basis. These tests require huge amount of data and scaled compute power to be executed within a reasonable timeframe. This is one reason why you need a good data management to ensure availability of your input data and proper storage and traceability of your results. In every automotive project, you need to follow mandatory standards like automotive spice, functional safety, safety of the intended functionality or cybersecurity, and also implement project methods for collaboration and to ensure legal regulations related to information security and data privacy for all participants in the project. Like in all projects also the demo and this map might be subject of change in the future as we will also gain new knowledge over time. One remark related to the tooling we will use for the demo. Luxoft itself is neither a product company nor a tool vendor. We collaborate with all necessary product and tool vendors in our projects since the tools are often already chosen and defined by our clients. We obviously needed to choose some tools to demonstrate but the solutions itself can be implemented with various kind of tools not shown in the demo. I hope this introduction was helpful to understand on a high level the topics we are going to cover in future. If you like the video leave us a like below. We would be interested in your feedback, feel free to provide some feedback in the comments. In case you need our support, please contact us using the contact form on our home page. Next video, coming soon will address our point of view on the risk and cost optimization strategies for automotive software development for the software-defined vehicle. If you want to get notified when we submit the next sessions of this series, please subscribe. Thanks for watching looking forward to meeting you in the upcoming videos.